Hi everybody, my name is Sarah, Pearls of Wisdom and Food on both YouTube and Facebook. Do you ever feel like you're playing a hard game, stupid with your food? Ugh! Hard game. Hard game. I kind of was having a chuckle just as I was putting on the second light and sitting down here with my BPC. And I was thinking, you know, how many decades have I done nothing but obsess about food? You too can be 65 and have decades of worrying about food and thinking about food and salivating about food and worrying about food and being happy about food and buying food and preparing food. <laughs> Is that a hard game of stupid for Sarah? I don't know, but <laughs> it's, it's like, you know... The, um, if you spell stressed backwards, do you know what it spells? Desserts. Yeah. And what do we use sometimes <laughs> when we're stressed out? Desserts. Oh, life is so interesting, isn't it? So, here we are. Trying not to play a hard game of stupid. Here we are, really trying to do the right thing. And often we do. And often we're very happy for it. And often we see nice results from putting in the food to the tracker and eating the right things and doing what the Weight Watcher leader says or what the websites say. And we're oh so happy that it's all turning out okay. But you know the frustration. Um, I heard it in a podcast just yesterday from somebody that... Um, really thought that they were doing well. It was kind of apparent in the video that they weren't stepping on their own scale, or maybe they were, and they thought that there would be um, a much greater loss at their meeting, and there wasn't. And, you, you know, the rest of the podcast, I could hear it. I could hear it in um, the lovely soul's voice that she was just oh so disappointed. And, you know, it is disappointing. It is, because we pay good money, some of us, some of us don't, but we, we invest a lot of time, that's for sure, into what we're eating. Maybe we even turn over the product and read what the label says it has for ingredients, put it back, make a wiser decision, maybe some BBCs, better bad choices along the way, until we're free of a certain food that used to ugh, grip us like we thought we could never get rid of it. Do you have any of those in your life? I do. I thought I could never get rid of things like the Weight Watcher novelties, those little ice creams that carried me through my first my first chunk of weight loss. Um, Coffee Mate, I thought I could never, ever give up. Crumbled Blue Cheese, I don't know how that changed, but now I, now I prefer Feta. You know, maybe Blue Cheese would come back again, but when I think of the mold, I don't want it. grains. You know, yeah, that's the duh. Um, you know, I thought I could never give up pizza and pasta and um, bread, not so much, but, um, you know, uh, cookies and crackers and anything, any desserts that had grains in it. I mean, just all of that stuff. And, and then suddenly one day, you know, Sometimes when you do a little head trip back, you go, wow, I thought I could never give up that item. And suddenly, you're not having it. Somebody admitted to me the other day, they've been soda-free. First, they did the full sugar to the diet sugar, uh, diet, um, yeah, the fake sugar sodas. And then they realized neither soda is good for me, and they gave it up. And wow, I'm very proud of them. Because we each have our own little addictions for certain items that might not make sense to anybody. Anybody. And to give them up would just seem like, are you kidding me? I wouldn't even know how to go about giving it up. And then you think a couple of years later, it's gone. How cool is that? So, you know, sometimes our journey has a lot of like little um, 
ruts along the way. Sometimes we go off the side of the road. We don't pay attention to that white line on the side. And we take some little trips and jaunts just to make sure that we're, you know, oh yeah, that's right. I don't do well with that food, do I? But it's all what it takes. We must trust the process because that's what it is. It's a process figuring out what works for us. And along the way, we hope to lose weight. So there's so many different layers to this if you allow, if you allow the journey at its fullest inside of your head. You'll learn about what foods work for you. You'll learn about what foods work for you at what time of day. You'll learn about what foods you shouldn't ever, ever have again. You'll make healthier choices. Maybe some BBCs along the way, like I just said. Whatever it takes, maybe you'll start to go organic and notice the difference. Feel the difference. You know, sometimes the feeling the difference is just in the head. I kind of laugh at that myself, you know. Is it because I paid $4 for this four ounces of berries that I'm feeling better? Or do they really taste better? You know, I know with certain, certain quality things, they do taste better. They just do. Then, have you paid attention to the Dirty Dozen, the things that you should always purchase as organic, one of them being strawberries. Broccoli is another. And then the other, the, um, I can't think of what that name is, but it's 15 of them that it doesn't matter if you buy organic or not. One of them is avocados, so that's a bonus point because sometimes, you know, when you want to find something that's on sale in produce so you can get a good value, you know, it's always a bonus when it's not one of the dirty 12, dirty dozen, and you can buy it and be healthy. Um, I know that the tubs of organic uh, baby lettuces, baby spinach, and baby arugula are the best deal going for $5. You know, I, I couldn't even buy three tubs of the $5 ones. They would, I'd be, they'd last me two weeks. So if there's a far enough date out and there's no like, yucky stuff on the bottom, I'll buy them. But they'll last two weeks. And when you think of what you might spend at a salad bar after, at the end of the week, you know, you've saved half of your money. Um, so there, there are things that do make a difference. Um, and there are some things that, that don't, you know. When I started buying my SO coconut milk, of course I'm delighted that it's organic and that there's no sugar in it and that there's healthy fats in it and that it's made with care because you know we do have to put our trust in these food manufacturers and we don't really know if we can trust them or not so um you know that's how we have to be we we have to do the research and and trust a lot that's why when you go to trader joe's you see people taking an hour in there to make their purchases and of course i don't blame them they really want to make healthier choices i go through their flyer and make the um you know, the first of the shopping trips with that in mind. You know, what do they have? They've just expanded our store, so we're very lucky. So there are more products that we can we can have. Not everything is organic there, but that's okay. They probably are the best place to go. Whole Foods is kind of expensive, uh, you think. And, um, you know, sometimes when you go in there, they have the in-house sales that make it really worth it to go in there. But um, I, found the, I find the butchers absolutely intimidating. And um, paying $25 for a pound of grass-fed, um, I guess I'll just make my grass-fed the grass-fed that are in the regular supermarkets that say grass-fed on them. You know, nature's promise. And um, open nature, I think. Yeah. Um, Laura's, Laura's has grass-fed things. And so, you know, we yeah, you're shopping time probably has expanded, but isn't that okay? Doesn't it work for you? And maybe including a farmer's market purchase or two, once they all get up and running, maybe some of yours already are. You know, just think of how exciting that is. Yes, it's another stop along the way, but buying local and buying organic is what a difference it makes. I mean, tomatoes, do I say any more? The local raspberries, when they finally come out, are unbelievable here. And I'm sure the lettuces and all the other things are too. And so, you know, we don't have to play a hard game of stupid. 
we can really begin to learn. And if you if you were doing this last year and you know paying attention and, and making some of the the better choices last year, just think. Just think of how much you've evolved over the year. Pat yourself on the back. You are self, you are the school of hard knocks, right? I've thrown a lot of things in the trash that I spent good money for that just wouldn't work along the way. I just threw out a half a pound of Boar's feta cheese. It tasted like nothing. And it was $6, and I, buy, I bought it instead of buying President, and I bought chunks, not the crumbled, because the crumbled has all the chemicals in it. And, and so, no, then I went and bought a President for a dollar cheaper, and the flavor's there. So don't buy Boar's Head Feta. It's, it's a waste of money. It's like buying white goop. There's no flavor to it. It could have been tofu for all I knew, but it said feta. <laughs> it said mild flavor, I guess. <laughs> Lack of. And so, you know, I went and I bought the president, and today I threw out a half a pound of boar's head. I was going to cut it with the president just because of the cost, but then I said, no, it didn't even taste like feta. So sometimes that's what we do. So don't play a hard game of stupid. Spend your dollars really, really wisely as if you didn't have enough money to eat. You know, just make your purchases and just, you know, the food is sacred and treat it as such. And I know that some of you do. Most of you do probably, right? And you know I do. And so with that, it, it just becomes, you know, eating an organic egg, buying the organic cheeses to put on the organic egg. It's just... What a difference it makes. I love my food, in, in case you didn't know. <laughs> so anyway, have a wonderful day. No hard games. And um, keep it light, but keep it organic. Keep it real. Flip that puppy over and read the ingredients. If it's filled with things that your grandmother wouldn't recognize or be able to pronounce, put it back on the shelf. You're only lining their pockets. You're not lining your belly with good stuff. Have a wonderful day. This has been Sarah. Bye-bye for now.